are those the answers? That's fantastic. Did you save these for your next year's children? I am uh, uploading them to YouTube. Yes! So. Are you really? Yeah, yeah they're all on YouTube. All right, so gentlemen and ladies, let's refresh our memory once again. You have seen this before. The area of a circle is that formula you all keep wanting to use. Pi r squared. So let's start simple. Area of a circle. And in problem one, they've given me the diameter. So am I taking that 48 and squaring it? No. Yep. No. Remember, that is probably, and I, I would guarantee you, gentlemen and ladies, I guarantee you if this was a multiple choice question on a test, 48 squared times pi would be one of your choices. Okay? But it'd be wrong. Remember, that diameter is what's given to you. You need the radius in order to plug into the formula for area. So you're doing pi times 24 squared. So that's 576 pi. The instructions don't specify rounding. However, once again, since this is a real world situation problem, the expectation is that you know you're not going to tell the Zamboni driver that he's cleaning off 576 pi square feet. He wants a more workable number. So, Starting off pretty simple. There's a your turn for it. It is a Centio question. When you have found your answer, please key it into the Centio. Rounding to the nearest square foot, please. Uh, round it to the nearest square foot, please. Oh, I, oh, I forgot to hit play. There we go. And there's more than 17 of us in here. Some students aren't logged in. Let's get logged in, please. No. Okay, so one person didn't read the instructions on the screen that said round to the nearest square foot, but on the whole, very happy. You did your calculations correctly. Fantastic. Part B, if I take that radius and cut it in half, how does my area change? It's half. It is not. It's a fourth. Tell me why you realized that. Oh, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's a that's a, a method. Yes. Okay. Here and, and and what you're saying will make absolute perfect sense when I ask you this. In the formula for the area of the circle, what are you doing to the radius? You're squaring it. So think about what's happening when you take half of that radius. That half is getting squared. So that's where you're getting that one fourth that Maddie came up with. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what's the difference if you cut it in half and then you square it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
of areas. Think about what we did to that ratio, that one half, that scale factor. We squared it when we were talking about area. Okay, so it all comes together. Okay? <laughs> Onward, mathematical soldiers. So, if I am finding, ladies and gentlemen, the area of a sector, which is, in, in plain old teenage speak, you might describe the sector of a circle as a slice of the pie, a slice of the pizza. You're finding a slice of the area. As I said yesterday, today's lesson, gentlemen and ladies, today's lesson correlates very closely to yesterday's lesson. In yesterday's lesson, we talked about how arc length was a fraction of the circumference. By the same token, the area of a sector of a circle is a fraction of the area of the whole circle. Once again, just like in yesterday's lesson, you can approach these problems two different ways. You can figure out what fraction of the circle you're interested in and multiply that fraction by the whole area or treat it as a proportion. Okay, so let's do this problem, thinking about it along the lines of a fraction. You're taking a fraction of the area. Well, let's find the whole area first. What is the area of the circle? What is the area of the circle in problem two? Well, remember, it's pi r squared. Do I know the radius? Yeah, so square it. So I have 81 pi is the area of my whole circle. What fraction of this circle am I interested in? Uno four. Hold on, let me backtrack. How did I get? Are we good? Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to find the area of this sector. That's the piece of the pie I'm interested in. What fraction of the circle is that? It's 84 over 360. And by all means, you have scientific calculators, use them. Let's reduce this fraction. I get 7 over 30. Remember, if you enter a fraction into your calculator and hit equals, your calculator will reduce the fraction for you. Okay, so what I'm doing is taking, taking 7 thirtieths of 81 pi. Remember how you multiply fractions. Straight across the top. And straight across the bottom. So you can see 7 times 80, I mean like 7 over 30 times 80, and then 9 times 80, and then 9 times 80, and then 9 times 80. Absolutely. Which gives us 189 over 10 <laughs> pi. Square millimeters. Oh, I oh, wow. What are you doing? In your scientific calculator, I reduced the 7 30ths back here, remember. You've got the 7 over 30. Okay, take 7 30ths in your calculator and multiply it by 81. Calculator does the hard thinking for you. But. Oh. Remember how to change that. Mixed fraction in your calculator back to an improper one. That's the second button. Yes. I did it. Good on this screen. And if you were doing this as a proportion, what you would have is 7 over 30. Here, let me show you. You would have 7 over 30 equal to x over. 81 pi. You get the same answer in the end. Okay? I'm sorry, had we gotten from this screen what we needed? Sir? Where did I get 81? 9 squared? Oh, okay. All right. 
Did we get from the screen what we needed? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Next question is just like it. If it's a TO question, you are rounding to the nearest tenth. It's the same exact idea. The only change is that instead of circumference, it's area. And stopping the question. Most of you, most of you got the right answer, or rather, the largest majority of you got the right answer. Some of you got six, you just rounded to the nearest whole number instead of rounding to the nearest tenth. The two, you forgot to respect the pie. It's like the Capri Sun com commercials. Respect the pouch. Uh, you got to respect the pie. Don't forget the pie. Okay? Last kind of example. No. The triangle was both. I don't like triangles. Oh, the agony. It's a triangle. It's still my heart. All right, so thought process. That is a segment of a circle. Okay, there is a triangle in that figure, but we're, our, our final answer is not the area of the triangle, but is the area of the triangle necessary? Yes, of course it is. So, any thoughts on a strategy for how we're going to find the area of that funky little shape there, Issa? I Okay. So the strategy would start by finding the area of this sector. And once I find the area of that sector, find the area of the triangle next and then subtract, okay? So, step by step. <laughs> Ladies, waiting please, let's focus. Okay, so Issa made an excellent observation. 90 is 1 4th of 360, so I know that the area of my sector will be 1 4th of the area of the circle. How will I find the area of the circle? Hold on, the area of the circle. Right, remember, pi r squared is the area of the circle. Don't forget what you already know. Don't complicate things. Seven squared? Pack on the pi. Okay, so the area of the sector is 49 pi over 4. Maybe you feel right? Yeah. Okay, the next step is to find the area of the triangle. What's the formula for the area of a triangle? One half base times height. One half base times height. What are the base and height in this triangle? They're both seven. How do you know that? Fantastic question. I'd love to answer it as soon as the little murmurings stop, please. Okay, remember, the height of a triangle starts from a vertex and is perpendicular to the base. This is a 90 degree angle, gentlemen and ladies. Do we see that this segment could be the height and this would be the base? Base and height are perpendicular. Okay, so I have one half times seven times seven, which is forty-nine over two. You could, of course, simplify that to twenty-four point five if it makes your heart happy. Because in the end, what you're doing in order to find your bottom line answer is in your calculator. The area of the segment is 49 pi over 4 minus 24.5. It's just 
keystrokes. You guys are looking at it like it's crazy stuff. Okay, it's a little bit crazy stuff, but it's just typing stuff and stuff in your calculator. Isn't that what you're Getting philosophical, are we? Mm -hmm. But we're all done with them now. No, you should not get a negative area. Make sure that you're subtracting in the correct order. You get approximately 14. Square inches. And that's all we have time for. Last couple of questions. Yes. No, not really. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Make sure that you're respecting the pie. Otherwise, you're going to end up with negative answers. Tell me the pick Uh, hold on, let me stop this. <laughs> oh, please, please. You guys just want to get me in trouble, huh?